It's autumn. The leaves are telling us that. I've been so busy, it's been hard to get videos out. But here's what I saw this week. The water boatman is a pretty interesting character. It looks like it's doing something with mouth parts in the front, but it's real hard to tell exactly because it's you know, looking from the back. More of the action from the sediments right at the edge of the pond. Most of the frogs have been eaten, but I did get a glimpse of one this week. Next up are the painted turtles. This is what passes for action in a turtle video. This log is the place to see turtles. You'll get a couple of pictures here. And then you'll get a picture of um, seven or eight turtles. In the spring, I saw 14 turtles. But um, since summer, when they disperse much more through the pond, I haven't seen as many in any, in any one place. So a conglomeration of eight is the uh, largest group I have seen together since um, early summer. When turtles are closer to shore, you can really get good pictures of them swimming under the water. But when they're this far out, it's kind of hard to get good ones. But I try. <laughs> Phoebe sit on branches and then dart out to catch insects and then go back and find another place to sit. And so they are in motion quite often because it must take quite a few insects to feed something like that. So, you know, they're going out and catching every minute or two, if not more. So you get to see them, but they flit so much it's so hard to catch up to them with the camera. But every once in a while, get lucky. And then you try to zoom in just so you can see something and then it flies off, but sometimes it flies back, whether it caught something or not. Sometimes it comes back to sit and eat, sometimes it just comes back to sit and it never sits for long. Normally, turkeys are pretty slow moving. They're often feeding and stuff like that. And this is a couple of the flock that's in the Swan Point, you know, just kind of standing there. But then I got this, I started watching these two chasing each other. And I started off, I'm not quite zoomed properly, but eventually you get the perspective where you can see the whole bird and they're moving and they're just running and just keep on moving. And I couldn't keep up and often they went behind stones so I couldn't see anything. But these two just chased for like a, a, over a minute. I finally, they were further enough away that I just couldn't follow them anymore through all the stones. But it was pretty wild. <laughs> Plenty of fall fish in the Meshasic River. They sit in the deepest pool, and when the sun is shining on them, I can get some pictures. Um, it's at least 20, but 
the other day it looked like there were at least 30 of them in the river. In this one little spot, they seem to hang there. They, you know, they eat little stuff that comes downstream. Um, and the fact that they almost always are sitting in the deepest part and um, are pretty wary of me. So sometimes it's kind of interesting. Sometimes they'll sit where you can get a picture. Sometimes they won't. And, uh, you know, it's hard to get pictures in the shade. So I take as many pictures as I can because they're kind of interesting. If you watch them, they're always kind of shifting around. You can tell it's a young red-tailed hawk because the feather tail, the tail feathers are not red. They're just a kind of brown striped camouflage color. It flew by, then it perched, so I got pictures from several different places. The kingfisher rattled, and then it flew by. I followed it around the pond and called it a week. <laughs>